recipe is in my cookbook, 99 Ninja Foodie Recipes, and you can get a copy on my website, which is www.susannaskitchen.uk. To start making my vegetable lasagna, we are melting in the bottom here some butter and I've got some olive oil as well. And I've got this on sear and saute. You could layer this lasagna straight up, but I like to add some extra flavor if I can. And I think by frying off the onions and the courgettes with some herbs, it really starts the flavors going. So here I've sliced up my onions like this and then I've diced my courgette. So let's get that all in. This is going to make one massive great big pot of veggie lasagna. All Mediterranean flavours. It is absolutely beautiful. To the courgettes, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. It's starting to smell really good now. And then I've got some Italian style herbs here. So I'm going to go with about half a teaspoon. We're starting to get a little bit of colour on these and they're starting to soften. I don't want to do too much because this is going to be slow cooked for a long time. So I think these are ready to come out now. I've just popped those into a separate bowl, added a little bit more spray oil and now I'm going to do the same with the peppers. We're getting a couple of little charred bits on the peppers which is what I wanted. So I'm now going to add in my garlic. Now I'm not going to cook this for much longer because we do not want that garlic to burn. But we do want to cook it very slightly. And then we can remove the peppers in around a minute. So we're now ready to assemble. I'm not worried about the pot being a little bit dirty because obviously it's all these flavours. So it's all good. So we want to add a little bit of spray oil in the bottom just to stop too much sticking. So we'll put that in first. Now we're going to grab our passata and we're going to add a layer of this into the bottom. Just going to spread that out so we've got quite a nice even layer in the bottom of our ninja pot. Now I'm going to grab some lasagna and we're going to cover the bottom with the lasagna sheets. Clearly we've got a round pot and rectangular lasagna so I've just broken some up as well. And we're just going to fit it in as we can. Now I've got some ricotta here. So we're going to add some ricotta to the layer here. Probably around a quarter of what I've got here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously as it cooks, all of these ingredients are going to spread out and mingle together. But a rough layer on the bottom is good. I'm going to lay on a layer of my aubergine slices. Now we're going to get some of our vegetables, so onions and courgettes. And I'm just going to scatter those over. And some of our peppers, which have got the garlic in them as well. Mmm, yummy. This looks good, doesn't it? So when you're doing this, you just want to think you obviously will need quite a few layers. So you don't want to add too much to each each layer but just spread it out as you can that's good I'm using some pesto in mine and this is a homemade pesto so on each layer I'm just going to dot a little bit of the pesto around no real quantities with this it's probably going to end up around four tablespoons in total maybe it's probably what I've got left in this jar but that smells and adds loads of really good flavour. That looks good. Then we want a layer of our mozzarella cheese. Mmm, look at this. This is such a good veggie dish. I've got um, girlfriends coming around this evening for a nice drink and a little bit of dinner. So I think they're all going to really enjoy this. And then we just want to repeat exactly the same process again. So exactly the way you just layered that up, repeat that another two times. On my second layer, I meant to last time add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit, tiny bit of salt to this ricotta because I didn't season it at all and I feel like it could do with it. So yeah, just add that in as you go along. I'm also adding in some fresh basil as I go along in the layers as well. Nice layer of lasagna on the top and we finish that off with some tomato sauce. So this is our top layer. 
I'm just going to smooth that out. We want enough that it covers the pasta. It's really important to cover the pasta because if not, it's going to go all crispy and not so nice. I've got a thick and even layer over the top. Now this is optional, but I had a tomato left in my fridge and I thought, why not use that up and slice that on the top? I thought that looks quite nice. And then lastly, we just finish it off with some more mozzarella cheese over the top. And there we are. We are all layered up and now we put it on to slow cook. With the lasagna, I like to cook mine on low, so that's just my preference. And I normally do mine for anywhere between five and six hours is good. If you wanted to put it on high, it can be done in as quick as three hours. Oh, look, a little bit of courgette left over there, oops. Um, but yeah, the key thing is that once you finish cooking, you need to let it sit. So you turn it off and you let it sit for an hour and that's really important because it's going to firm up and become like a lasagna texture if you don't it's going to be too runny and sloppy and not hold together so that is my top tip with this make sure you do that and i'm now going to put this on low for about six hours